Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. How are you guys doing? Soul Squadron, thanks for tuning in. We are the Soul Brothers, of course, and we're gonna continue on our epic journey through the Jordan series. Yes. Um, and retro basketball shoes in general. Do, the, do they still basketball? Do they still stand the test of time? We're about to let you know. This is the Jordan 11 low in this retro, of course. Yes. Um, and this is just, what is this colorway called? UNC. UNC, okay. I believe. Yeah, this is the North, North Carolina colorways. Um, so, uh, let's hop right in. Sammy picked these up, was able to snatch a pair up, and he's been balling in them. So, uh, let's kick it off with the traction. All right, so the traction uh, is just traction pods. And uh, there is some ice or some translucent, uh, there's translucent rubber a around it. A lot of translucent. And it's super hard. And the, the traction pod with the herringbone is also super hard. So, outdoor use is good. Um, this but the, the herringbone is solid, which is cool. It's it's fucking amazing. This traction is. Wow. I mean, I, I give it a ten. That, yeah. That's, it's really really nice. It's like what the thirteens were doing. Yeah. I mean, I was really surprised. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there was a little bit of breaking breaking time, but it was just the first day. Um, like, the first time I put it on, it was sliding a little bit, but after like a game or two, it was good to go, and I was sticking like crazy. Um, stopping power is super hard. Dust. You can see all the dust here. Can you see all that yeah. shit on the translucent part? Uh -huh. um, there's dust gets stuck on it. It's super dusty and shit. Whatever. Um, I was still good to go, and I didn't even really have to wipe that much. You know, very seldom did I have to uh, wipe the wow. traction. So yeah, super good. It's a it's a fucking ten. Wow. A 10. Yeah, really good. Really, really really nice. Nice. And then uh, right under that. Uh, you have this carbon fiber midfoot plank uh, plank <laughs> shank plate, uh, and that'll give you some rebound and stuff, a little yes. bit of stability. Um, on top of that, we have what? What is this? The poly polyurethane? I mean, ADA? okay. So uh, in the first impressions, you guys were mad because you guys are like, "Oh, dude, it's a fucking uh, uh, what do you call it? A phylon midsole." I was like, uh, are you sure? Cause like in on the Nike website, it says here, it says here, it doesn't say anything on the cushion. Right. Right. Yeah. On the Nike website, it doesn't say anything. It just says air sole unit for lightweight cushioning. Right. And then on Full Locker is where it says PU midsole, which is I'm polyurethane. guessing polyurethane, yeah. right? Uh, with the carbon fiber spring plate and full length air sole unit. Yeah. So that's not. Comfort. So that's not phylon. So I I don't know, man. I'm just telling you guys what what it says on the website but exactly. it doesn't really matter um because i'm just gonna tell you how it feels and it just feels like a phylon you know like uh the pg ones you know nothing really crazy i didn't, couldn't feel the um air sole unit at all i didn't feel any like compression um bounce or anything but it was it was nice you know responsiveness was good impact protection was actually not that bad not as bad, bad as like the Kyrie three or anything like that jumping around I, my feet didn't hurt like crazy so uh, impact protection was actually pretty good uh heel to toe transition it's it's like not even that uh clunky you know usually mm -hmm. how jordans are yeah. so i wasn't mad at that so um it was actually pretty nice you know especially for a guard like me um it's actually a pretty nice cushion i, I would have maybe put in a little bit more impact protection or maybe a little bit of bounce but you know it was good yeah Okay, um, all right, moving on to the upper, of course, we have the legendary patent leather. Yes. Around the whole damn shoe, and it's shiny. Um, One thing that sucks is it gets scuffed really easy. Yeah, dude, that's gnarly. Yeah, you see this black mark, guys? Whatever. Um, but um, the, it's leather here on the where the laces are, or mm -hmm. kind of like here. Um, it's a Higher up on the upper. It's pretty shitty, though. Yeah. It's a shitty leather material. Not like a premium leather, but you know, it's like a nylon in, in some of the other colorways and yeah. or in the highs, right? Yeah. Which would probably be better. Maybe, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But um, it's not that bad to be honest. Um, it does break. It does need a little bit of breaking time, but you know, it it's like not not that bad, you know. Right. Um, it wasn't for a retro. It? No, not even not even for retro. Really? I mean, for retro too, it's actually really good for retro. But even for today's standards, it wasn't that bad. Um, creasing and stuff, you know, it, the material uh, gets soft, and I didn't really have any problems with it being abrasive or anything, um, or it being too stiff. 
you know so um materials i wasn't mad at it it wasn't the best material obviously but it was still good so right. you know okay moving on to fit we have uh this is just a you know this is how they used to do it back in the day you have a full tongue yes but they did strap it down there's two straps to hold the tongue down yes. in, or in place which is cool but you didn't see too many one booty uppers back then no nope. um so how was fit it was uh fit was good uh there was not a lot there's a little bit of toe space on top of my toe, but it wasn't super bad, so that was fine. I went down half a size. Um, all Jordan retros, I basically have to go half a size down for some reason, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah. No, no, the 14s, I was true to size. Yes, a lot of them are true to size. A lot of newer Jordans, I go down half a size. Yeah. Um, you know, you never know. Yeah. You know, even between... Um, you know the same model, but just different sizes. Yeah, yeah. The one I was true to size. Mm -hmm. The three I was, I think I was true to size. Yeah. I mean, I tried on the 14s, mm -hmm. uh, the Air, the Air Jordan 14s, and you were true to size. Mine were way too small. Yeah. I, I tried on a 14 and it was too small. I was like, what the hell? Which is never the case for me and Jordan. I mean, I just, I think Jordan just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> you just know what I'm saying? Saying? Yo, Here you go, it's man. It's a retro. It's a retro. It's going to yeah. sell. I'm going to make exactly. money off it. Yeah, I don't give a shit, you know? But, you know, fit, I went down half a size and it was good. Cool. All right, so lockdown? Lockdown was actually pretty good, too. Um, heel didn't feel completely locked down, but mm. it, wasn't, it wasn't bad. Um, so lockdown was good. Okay. And then uh, support. Support was good too. It's a leather. It's not going to stretch. Yeah. And there's a lot of support. Um, is there not a really crazy outrigger? No. But, you know, whatever. Right. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's touch on weight real quick. This is a what, 7? Yes. Size 7 coming in at, it's a low, so you should, you should want it to be a little bit light. Or lighter, at least a couple ounces lighter than average which would be like 13 14 ounces what is it 13.23 13.23 that's actually not that bad that's like so a little bad. heavier than average more like average yeah for a low um, for a low and for my size mm -hmm. so um how did it feel it felt pretty damn light you know traction was amazing responsive cushion fit was good no dead play in the fit or anything so it was a really really light feeling shoe to me word up okay now uh let's touch on durability real quick yeah, you're good to go. Even outdoors. Um, I mean, it's a pretty expensive shoe to be playing outdoors with, and it's yeah. retro. Some people say that you shouldn't even ball in these, uh, yeah, and those yeah, people you are guys idiots. Are mad. You guys are idiots. Mad. It's a basketball shoe, oh dog. Just get, get a grip on your life. Um, so, uh, pretty durable shoe. Now, touch on ventilation. No. No? This is actually pretty hot. Ooh. So that's one downside. Yeah, leather's, leather's tough. Yeah. You know? There's downside. no ventilation in this. Like, no nope. perforation, no holes, nothing. Jordan didn't give a fuck. No. Yeah. So, uh, okay, let's talk about aesthetics real quick. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the colorway, but I, I like the 11s. This is not my favorite Jordan. I mean, most people are just nuts about this shoe. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't get it either. I, I think it looks good, and it definitely looks better than a lot of the other, a lot of the other old retros, like better than the 14s to me, better than like uh, maybe even the 10s and the 9s, especially the 8s. But uh, what do you think? All right. All right. I, I used to think they were really ugly. Yeah. But then they kind of grew on me, so. Yeah. All right. Uh, but we're definitely not super hype on on this shoe aesthetically. Uh, not Barons, as much as other people. The bearings that are coming out are super sick. Yeah, though. there's some sick some sick colorways of these yeah. too. Also. All right, let's wrap this up. Uh, price tag on these is uh, one seventy five. Damn, that's 175 is kind of expensive. Plus tax, literally like one ninety. Um, that's basically two hundred dollars. I mean, that's how much they're charging for top tier new signature shoes. Yes, and this is old. And this is old. So I just I don't understand. Um, but you know, people are buying it. So if people are buying it, Jordan's like, okay, here, here's yeah, more. Exactly. You know, who cares? You know. So but I mean, obviously, it basketballs. It does. It's still basketballs, right? Yes. Okay, uh, but uh, comparing it to now standards, I mean, this this can be in my rotation. Oh, That's nice. how nice these are. I mean, it's because the traction is just so fucking good. Mm -hmm. And then the cushion, it was not bad for, uh, for a guard. I don't need like crazy, crazy impact protection. The upper is, I think it could be a little better. But you know, right. it's not bad. The fit was really good. Um, and after you break it in, the leather gets super soft. And I, I love this shoe, uh, especially mm -hmm. for playing ball. Um, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna rock this casually. I'm just yeah. I'm probably gonna play ball in it, which you guys will hate me for saying that. But um, yeah, this is a really, really good ball shoe, guys. Um, I think one of the best Jordans I, no, the best Jordan 
I have played. I have not played in the 13s yet, so I need to play in those. Yeah. But um, this is. The I, best I need to play in these. Yes. And he needs to play in the 13s. Yes. And then we'll maybe do a video on which one is the best. Yes. Because those are the two best that we've tested. Yes. Um, for sure. So uh, that's it. Um, if you want copies, there'll be a link in the description below if there's still any available. Uh, I think there might be. That's it. We're the Soul Brothers. Hope we helped you guys out. Catch you in the next one. Later. Peace.